Sweetie, <clears throat> you worry me sometimes. <sighs> We're best friends. Like, bestest, 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 bestest friends. I'm a Democrat, you're a Republican, it's just... Yeah... I know we've always said that we're not going to debate, debate politics, but, sweetie, I have to defend my president. I have to. You were talking about cash for clunkers. I think that is honestly a very, very good idea. We need to get away from oil as fast as possible. We're running out of oil. It's destroying our ozone layer. It's doing all that crap. Now oh, the dogs just started howling. Um... And fuel efficient cars are a lot better than anything else. We need to start going on solar cars, like electric cars, anything to get away from oil. It's just, it's a dead end. There's only so much oil that we can use before our planet is depleted and we're left dead, basically. Um, abortion. I remember you saying something about abortion. I, I'm not against abortion, but I'm not for it either. Personally, if I was a girl, it would depend on the situation. Like, if I was raped or something, and I ended up getting pregnant from it, I wouldn't want that child in my stomach. I would. It would kill me every day knowing that I had some rapist's child in my stomach. That's just... Ugh. That... Ugh. I don't think people should be allowed to get an abortion just because, oh, oops, we got pregnant again. Let's go get another abortion. That's, I mean, that should be something that's done for the good of the child or for the mental and physical health of the, of the, the woman. I mean, it's just, and also I think, I sort of think it should also be the husband or boyfriend or whatever's decision as well because that's their child in there too it's not just the woman's the fact that the woman can just make the decision to go and get an abortion without consulting you know the father is just that's ludicrous to me i mean it's just it blows my mind um a reason i hate republicans republicans sweetie all tend Tend, not all, but tend to dislike greatly and damn to hell homosexuals and bisexuals and alternative pers er, personalities, alternative sexualities. Why do you think the gay community hated, hated, hated with a passion McCain? And I have a text message. And, um, Palin. I mean, they were both so blatantly homophobic, it was just, it just, it made me sick. And that goes with the rest of the incredibly Republican community. Um, my family is Democratic. I mean, I've been raised as a Democrat, so that's probably, I probably am pretty biased. If I wasn't, if I was raised with my own views, I don't know what, I would probably be, I'm more independent than anything. But I've accepted the fact that we're not going to have an independent president. It just is, it's not going to happen. There aren't enough independents to vote for independent presidents. Unless the Democrat and Republican running for president are so blatantly horrible that everybody hates them, and then the independent is just some shining character, we're not going to get an independent president. It's just not going to happen. And even if both the Republican and the Democrat are so blatantly horrible that everyone hates them, there's still going to be people voting for them. Because they don't look at the views. They don't look at what's going on in the world. All they know is that it's a Democrat or it's a Republican, so they're going to vote for them. It's just... That's the thing that gets me. A lot of the people that vote don't vote based on what's going on, based on the candidates' views, based on what they promise and all that. They vote based on what party they are that's it and that's just stupid to me I mean if you're gonna vote do your homework actually vote for someone that you whose views you believe in and that with <sighs> truly I don't 
like Obama all that much. But I think between McCain and Obama, the lesser of two evils was Obama. McCain just... McCain would have destroyed this country. I think with Obama, he will start us on the path that will get us away from this recession. I don't think in his term that the recession will go away. I think it will just go into a depression, away from a recession. Or is that the other way around? Does it go depression, recession, and then recession, or, or recession, depression? I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Um, but I think he will get us out of whatever we're in. Or will start us on the path that will get us out of what we're in. Um, but McCain would have just kept spending, would have kept us in Iraq, would have kept spending. This is one of the most costly wars ever waged on the planet. And it's only been going on for... Since 2000, 2001, something like that. Since 2001, I think. And it's just... It's stupid. There's no point in us staying over there when it's costing so damn much. Faux shizzle. That's my father, ladies and gentlemen. I'm doing a YouTube video about politics. Because you're so political. Yeah, well, what you said. <laughs> yeah, what you said. What I said? Yeah, what you said. What did I say? I don't know. Oh. What'd you get? I love you, man. Oh. I love you, man. I love okay. you, Okay, ow, man. ow. Thank and you. Snatch. And what? Snatch. Snatch. It's Jason Stratham. St Statham, you Statham. mean? Statham. Uh, it's got a dude from... Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, and I'm Johnny Depp with the other guy. And it's got the, the bad guy from that one movie where they're on the island, they're all prisoners, had to fight each other to death with Stone, Steve Stone Cold Austin. Oh, okay. It's got the bad guy, the, the European guy, and what's uh, Angelina Jolie's husband? Brad Pitt's in it. It's an old flick, but it's hella tight. Much like myself. Right. Oh, Anyways, back to our regularly scheduled programming. Um, oh, damn it, this thing's broken, and I have to, like, hold it just right on the... There we go. Um, I don't even remember what I was saying. Oh, the war in Iraq. It's just... It's so costly. That's that's one of the very major reasons we're in this depression. Recession. Whatever we're in. I just... Eh. This thing's broken. It's pissing me off. Um, anyways, you were talking about the bailout. I'm not sure it was one of the best. Well, you have to talk about which bailout you're talking about because there was two different bailouts. There was the bailout for the banks and the bailout for the car companies. Um, it probably wasn't the best idea on the planet, but the idea behind it was... <laughs> its outcome didn't... What, what am I trying to say? Its outcome wasn't as good as we would have hoped for. Basically, the bailout was supposed to stimulate the economy. It was supposed to keep our American car companies running. was supposed to keep our American banks running. So that way we keep us American instead of going off into other countries and sending our jobs all over there. And it's also keeping people in work. If those companies had have shut down millions of millions of people would have lost their jobs. More millions than are losing their jobs now. And it's it would have just been horrible. Holy shit, I'm already at nine minutes and I've only made three points, two points, some, I don't know. But it's, I still have a text message. It's from Jillian. And yeah. I'll answer it in a minute. Um... You and I both love to debate politics. You and I both hate deb debating politics with with each other. So I'm going to leave my points out as they are, as long as you leave your points as they are. I'm just going back to what you said. We don't have to go back and forth, because then we're going to like hate each other. And I don't want to hate you, because you're my BFF forever. That didn't make sense. Best friends forever, forever. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a little tired. Um, so yeah, I guess I'm just going to keep this going for... 11 more seconds, so... Yeah. Yeah! Yeah! For shindle. For shundle. For shundle. Bye!